Joe. I've spoken to a number of Democrats who met with the vice president at his gun task force, and they tell me they believe there are two proposals the president will lay out tomorrow that both have the greatest chance of passing Congress and a chance to do the most good. A measure to pass universal background checks for all gun purchases and an effort to ban high-capacity magazines. At the White House, they're ready to unveil their list of gun safety priorities. The president and vice president will hold an event here at the White House to unveil a package of concrete proposals to reduce gun violence and prevent future tra tragedies like the one in Newtown, Connecticut. This comes just a month after the Newtown shootings and weeks after the president named Vice President Biden to head a task force on gun safety. So their task is going to be to you know, sift through every good idea that's out there and even take a look at some bad ideas before disposing of them and come up with a concrete set of recommendations in about a month. The president will announce his proposals surrounded by children who wrote him in the wake of the Sandy Hook tragedy, and they're prepared for a fight. The president's committed to pushing these proposals. Uh, he is uh, not naive about the challenges that exist. Multiple sources tell CNN the vice president told lawmakers he'll outline 19 actions the president can take without going through Congress. Example, better enforcement of existing gun laws, keeping data on where the guns